Willy, se está, ya te digo, se está en el camarino. Que era una pelea buena, pelea limpia. O ves mis órdenes todo el tiempo, o tres en todo el tiempo. Choca los guantes que te ganen mejor. It's time to get down to business. Our main event is upon us. This man, William Zapata, one of the highest volume punchers in the sport, looking to send a message to the big names at 135. Let me take it on this man, Jaime Armaletta says, I believe I have the ability to make Zepeda miss and make him pay. He's going to have a lot to deal with here tonight. Round one underway. This one's scheduled for 12 in the lightweight division. See, that's where Arboleto is effective, where he keeps that range and fights behind that long jab. He has power to keep opponents honest. But can he match the activity and the volume of Zepeda? I think not. But if he can pick his spots and get the respect from Zepeda, that can be a different story. Well, Arboleda and his team, they believe that as long as he's in a fight, they've said he's still dangerous. They said that fighting Jaime means avoiding his punch for 12 rounds. And we have seen some vulnerability out of Zepeda as well. He's on drop by Luis Vietas a couple of fights ago. So it's not like he's been entirely impervious, and it's not like he's not hit him. That was more of a flash knockdown, but a knockdown's a knockdown, Corey, I get it. Uh, but we're dealing with a puncher. We're dealing with two big punches here. Now, Boletta has a lot of power in that right hand, but I, have, I, I think he has even more power with that long left hook. I want to see how Zepeda reacts if he gets chin check. Because Zepeda's so aggressive that he is he is vulnerable to, to, to counters. Good combination on the inside from Zepeda. One of those right hooks gets through. Now he bangs away along the belt line. Zepeda so... Big left hand connects there from Zepeda. That one rocks Arboleta back. So calm and patient with his power. He knows that he can shut your lights out, but he, he, there's no hurry in him. You know, he's comfortable just putting, applying steady pressure, mental pressure that breaks down opponents. Never forgetting the body either. Zepeda just stays so compact, even when he's throwing 100 punches per round. But as you mentioned, Sergio, you're looking for openings against volume punchers like that. But when you're as tight as Zepeda is, it can be troublesome. And Zepeda's already setting up the, the left hands to the, to the body by digging, stabbing Arboleta to the chest and to the belly. He's already landed three or four shots to that torso area just to come around the guard later. There it is right there, Corey. Nice left hand from Zepeda and a scraping right hook as well. Good Shot. counter right hand off the ropes from Arboleta and another one. Yes, Arboleta, he's fighting, he's fighting off Zepeda. I mean, this was a Zepeda round, but it's only going to get more violent and more pressure, but I like how Arboleta handled it, and I like his facial expression, too. We have 12 rounds to work. Keep him outside at all times. Work the right hand. The jab is going underneath. Don't open up it too much. Go with the body. They close the tight. How do you feel? While you keep pressure, then you're taking everything away from him. Keep the pressure. If they saw that you're throwing down low, they're going to start moving. And we're going to see a lot of the left hand from the left-handed fighter in William Zepeda right here. Came around the guard. The first one was straight. The other one was looping, but it landed around the chin. Arboleta took it well, though. Round two begins. 
Wade already shooting that left hand downstairs, brings it back upstairs. Arboleta with that left hand. Arboleta walked right into that one. I'm getting flashes of Hector Tanahara Jr. when he fought William Zapata. A tall, lanky puncher, good fight IQ, but it just, he doesn't have enough power or enough oomph in his punches to get Zapata to take one step back. We're dealing with a wrecking ball that just knows, has one gear, only knows one way to go, and that's forward. And Zapata's team said that they saw similarities in that matchup as well. Another left hand. Even when Arboleda lands a left uppercut, which he did right there, it only gets Zapata and more angry. And down goes Arboleda, the left hands to the body, starting to mount. It was only a matter of time, and that's going to turn into a left uppercut and right hook coming up next. Zapata's favorite combination. Arboleda in retreat. Looking to shake this one off. You can't shake off body shots. A lot of time in this round for William Zapata to work. Nearly half the round for Zapata to try and score an early knockout. Good body shot again by Zapata. Arboleda just running out of room. And he doubles over once more with another body shot. And he's looking at his corner, pointing at his right side of his ribs. It was a great body shot right there, but I'm telling you, those body shots linger. I don't see, I don't see our belittlement lasting much longer. Zapata going right back down there. Arboleda trying to fire back, but Zapata is just relentless. And Arboleda flat on his back. Arboleda is not getting up. These power punches to the belly are too much. The liver doesn't forget. That is.
deliver, of course, with what happened last weekend. Now we saw another lightweight do the exact same thing, the same shot three times in a row. Here's the difference. We got to give credit where credit's due. Arboleda at least tried. He got up, not once, not twice, but three times. Same thing happened, though. He got knocked out. Well, we are ready to make this one official. Let's send it back up to Jeremiah Gallegos. Ladies and gentlemen, here from the College Park Center in Arlington, Texas, USA. Our referee, Ruben Benes, reaches the count of 10. The official time comes to you. Round two, 216. To the winner by KO, he is still undefeated and still the WBA Continental America's champion from San Mateo, Mexico, William El Camarón Cepeda.